I've made three DIY ice cooler air conditioners. Two are powered by USB and one has a 12 volt connector. In today's video, we're gonna give each one of these the hot car test using my truck. I'll performance test each one of them and we'll see just how well they do. Before we start, let's go over some specs and I'll give you a close up look of each one. I'll put a link to the build videos for these at the end of today's video. First up is my newest air conditioner. This thing is USB powered. This cooler holds 28 quarts. I have a flex form hose that comes out. I have some ductwork on the inside and this thing has a three speed fan. 111 degrees is the reading off of this sensor and outside <laughs> the temperature outside of the truck is a cool 109 degrees let's let this thing run for 30 minutes and we'll check back and see what the data says it's been a little over an hour i got a little sidetracked on another project the thermometer that's hanging on the string is 102 degrees, 102 degrees. And then the thermometer that's up here in the cool air is 83.66 degrees. So 83.66 degrees for the cool air coming out of the cooler. But after an hour in a hot car, we've only been able to cool the car down to 102 degrees next up is my 62 quart ice cooler air conditioner this thing is also usb powered has a flex form hose ductwork on the inside and this seven inch fan is also three speed let's check in with our sensors our sensors we've got 105 degrees for the sensor hanging on the string 93 degrees for the sensor that we're going to place in the path of the hose let's check on the outside temperature outside temperature is still 109 109 degrees it's still pretty hot so we're going to run this thing for an hour and we're going to check back and see what the data says it's been about an hour and 20 minutes We've got 97 degrees on the sensor hanging on the string. And then I've got 75 degrees, 75 degrees. That's some 75 degree air coming out of there. We got one more unit to test and I'll do that tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Next up is my 38 quart 12 volt ice cooler air conditioner. This thing has a powerful 270 CFM fan with an adjustable control. Inside, we've got a water pump and a radiator. And with that adjustable speed control, you can adjust just how hard this thing blows. It's the next day and we're going to test the last ice cooler air conditioner. I've got some shade set up because yesterday when we did the other two tests, there was no sun on the truck. So let's get this thing closed up and we'll start the testing. Let's check in with our two sensors. Our two sensors are both at 107 degrees. 107 degrees inside the truck here and the outside temperature is 103 degrees it's ridiculously hot so let's get this thing uh turned on and we'll run it for an hour and see how cool we can make it inside the truck all right it's been one hour and 10 minutes an hour and 10 minutes i'll turn this thing off Let's look at some data. The sensor hanging on the string, 95 degrees. And the sensor with the air coming out of the blower here says 73 degrees. So hour and 10 minutes, we were able to get the truck down to 95 degrees with 73 degree air blowing on us. All right, let's crunch some numbers. The little USB powered guy it was only able to cool the truck off to 102 degrees. Now that was with 109 degrees outside and it blew some air that was 83 degrees. 
Odds are, if your air conditioner is broken and you had this in the seat next to you, you would probably have the windows down. And that 83 degree air, it would feel pretty nice. That big 62 quart USB powered air conditioner was able to cool the truck off to 97 degrees. And the air blowing out of that flex form hose was 75 degrees. Not bad at 109 degrees outside. Overall, I think this one did pretty good. The last unit that we tested was the 38 quart 12 volt DIY air conditioner. This thing cooled the truck off to an impressive 95 degrees and the air coming out of there was 75 degrees. Any one of these might work in an emergency situation, but you tell me what you think about each one of them and how well they did. When I built these, my intention was to take them camping or maybe even use them at a ball game. I'm glad you watched and I hope you watch again. 103 degrees, it's ridiculously hot.